Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt to hold in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what is up guys, it is your boy Bugs. In today's video guys, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be telling y'all the pros and the cons for using the new performance feature that Fortnite has added. Now before I actually get into this video, if you have a bad PC, stop watching this video. Put it on. I don't care what your reason is, just put it on. You're going to have to adapt to whatever the new features that I'm going to be saying, but you just have to adapt. Like if, if you have a bad PC and you barely get over like 120 FPS or 100 fps put it on it is worth it to the max just for the frames itself bro trust me it's just for your performance it will feel so much better yeah it'll look ugly and you have to you know adjust to other things but it's definitely worth it but yeah let's get straight into it now here is the performance obviously first con the look of it obviously it looks kind of ugly to be honest in my opinion it doesn't look that bad obviously it looks different but it's honestly not that bad like i said and also the pro to this is the, like I said, the performance, your FPS, you will see a spike on that. I believe they said it's doubled. Like you'll see how more consistent your frames are and like how better and probably possibly even faster you are when you're like editing and like just building because the game is just running better for your PC. Now going on to the second con. Now this could just be a me thing, but I feel like you can't tell when someone's taking your wall or when something's being broken. Obviously you can hear it, but I'm more of a visual person. So as you can see, when you destroy structures, even shoot at structures um, on the low performance, it doesn't shake anymore. It physically just slowly goes down on HP. And so if you're like, if you're looking at the wall, obviously you could see it and hear it. But like, if you're not really paying attention, or if end game is really stacker, etc., you will not see someone behind it. Or if someone's breaking a tree behind it, you will, you can't really tell. Now to con three, seeing items on the floor. As you can see on the normal stuff, you can see items pretty far. Even though you can't fully tell what they are, you can kind of see the structure of it. Especially minis on how it glows and stuff. You can see it. But when you're on low performance, you can only see items up to 17 meters. After that, they just become a blur. They literally, you can see what color they are, but you physically cannot see the item. 17 meters is the limit. So that's that's the really main drawback that I dislike about it. Now again, this performance is only for like bad PC. So like if you have a bad PC and you could barely play or run Fortnite, then yeah, I get it. But if you have a great PC, there's no point of you really being on this. Okay, this one's kind of a pro and con because I think it really depends on your eyes. But um, for me, at least, I actually do love seeing through the builds on low performance. I feel like I definitely see it through more clearly on the brick and the and the metal. Not really the wood so much, but that's just my opinion. I feel like it's definitely easy to see through. But like I said, that is just like an eye difference, I guess you could say. That's just my opinion on that. And finally, the biggest pro and kind of con at the same time will be seeing through storm and being in storm. Literally guys, you can't tell the difference when you're in it or out of it. You can see through it clearly, you can see in it clearly. Sorry about the picture, I was just too lazy to f reset my game and go back into it and just show y'all it, hop in again. I was just too lazy, but pretty much just showing y'all from this. And you can literally look up any other video on like performance mode to see it. Literally guys, you can see through it so easily. And the con about it is you literally can see through it so easily that you probably can't even tell when you're actually in it from the first picture as you saw. But I think that's all the pros and cons for, you know, for the low performance. Literally, guys, if you really have a bad PC, I really do highly recommend it. But if you do have like a 1080 or whatever and you do get over 160 FPS, it's not worth it. But if you do like the pros more than the cons, then go for it, bro. If you feel like seeing through Storm is way more better, seeing through your buildings are way more better. Um, when people are breaking your stuff, you don't really see a big difference than I did. Go for it for, for the for the lack that you could, like I said, see clearer on certain things. Um, but other than that, uh, if you have a great PC, in my opinion, I said you wouldn't do it. But like I said, if you want the uh, pros for it, then go for it. But that's it for the video, guys. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment about anything. Comment if I miss anything. I think the only thing I possibly missed was, I guess you could say, like, it's a little bit harder to see characters. But I think that's, like, the obvious, like I said, because of how the game looks. It looks a little more pixelated. But then again, it doesn't. But it's it's all about your eye. It's all of, depending on the person's eye on how they see the screen and stuff. Yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys, and I'm out.
And she got a man, she don't really give a fuck about Left him back home in a whole nother state Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous Got a 9 to 5 on her side, she a waitress But it's getting tough, hard to find out